Have a nice day, everyone. This time, I will explain from my memory and the engine condition trend monitoring. First of all, thanks a lot for the engineer holder and supervisor and the committee examiner, okay, for this document. You remember that we spoke, we sent this file, the PDF file, about CFM-3, about the agent margin, the uh, cost, ATC. So this is not a course, but just a short notes, just short notes, okay? If you want the course, you must contact the manufacturer. Now, I will speak from my memory, okay? Short notes, not a course. If you need a course, contact the manufacturer. This is the certificates which I had. This is from Brett and Whitney. Zoom. This is Brett and Whitney. And this is the course. And the date, 11 October 1991. Okay. The second course from CFM, CFM International, also certificate. The date is 7 October 1998. So they are old, old training courses. What about the data source? Where are come the data? The data in the bus, we get the data manually by the flight engineer, recorded it by, manu by hand, right by hand, in the aircraft maintenance logbook page. Then the performance engineer took this data and processed it. Then when the technology raised, we get the data from printed reports, takeoff reports, and cruise reports from the aircraft. Now, the data go to the manufacturer by USB flash drive from the operator or a software program. I will speak about the program here. Install the program. I take care when we uh, when I was working, I can take this program free of charge in my airline. If you had the training course, install the program, fill the aircraft data the registration of the aircraft, manufacturer serial number, total time, total flight hours, total flight cycles, and date of manufacturer, date of manufacture. Then fill the engine that the mo model, Bratt and Whitney or CFM or, or serial number of the engine, N1 modifier, the N1 modified number, you can get it from the engine data plate. Engine data plate. Number of shop visits, how many shop visits this engine had. And the position, position one or position two on the aircraft. Enter the data from the reports, takeoff and cruise, the flight number, 
the strip from the station which take off to the destination station to land it landing altitude with split outside air temperature air speed exhaust gas temperature exhaust gas temperature fuel flow n1 n2 rpms revolution by a bare minutes v1 v2 vibrations after that process the data you can get output reports take care when we after the 10 points the delta EGT delta fuel flow delta n1 okay will give you x x x till point 10 points for that after the 10 points take the average of the 10 points and give the average here give you a letter here g f and one okay after the you had the print out for the output report you need to penetration this report if one parameter shifts only so the fault is indication indication system if all parameter shift so there is actual fault then you need to go to the fingerprint to determine the cause then send the action taken to the maintenance departments the maintenance engineer to carry out or rectify this fault this is from my memory if we go to the newest here this is the studied here I will show you I want to show you the fault if the param many parameters shift I will give me here You read all this data for your knowledge. Wait. Please wait. Please wait. Please wait. Please wait. This is the show you that the airplanes needs the troubles exceeds here this is very important figure take care here that the engine cost 42 percent of the total cost okay so look here small smaller than the engine smaller than the engine smaller than the engine so the engine must be take care of it please wait this is introduction about the engine the engine base here describe the engine base here is consumption combustion low compressor low turbine high compressor high turbine okay fan this is the data and this is the data source from here from aircraft
here is this the control cabin and the screens you can so and so I need to see you here is the parameters this is the parameters PGT margin by the way when uh, I was in Lotus Air we decided to replace the engine to refurbish at EGT margin 4 not 0 or not minus this is this figure speak about the EGT margin and N1 also C and so here is the, the chart This is a chart for flow, EGT, N1, smooth, smooth, smooth. Here, this is, this is shift here. Take care here, shift. So we need to take care from that and make, take action for this. What is the action here? Here is the action here. Low pressure turbine, compressor, clearance, valve. This is the, this is the problem here. Pressure turbine, clearance, control, valve. So you must take care from this. This is the fingerprint. This is the case, and this is I can zoom it here. The cause of shift aircraft instrumentation errors, and this is the delta. But this is the comments. All. so you can go to this to get the course and the recommendation to send to the maintenance department to clarify this okay thank you very much and thank you for the who make these documents thank you very much and goodbye.